All right, guys, I'm over at my buddy Bear's house, and uh, he just picked up this Triumph. It's so dirty, it's irritating me. So probably first thing I'm gonna do is start wiping this thing off. I don't remember what year this is, I'll have to ask Bear when he comes back out here, but uh, basically I'm gonna be messing around with the carbs. It's like uh, something's going on with these carbs, not running right, so it looks like it was leaking. Tear into this thing, figure out what's going on. But other than that, pretty sweet looking bike. So, let's hit it with the detail spray. All right, guys, just kind of wiped it off real quick with the uh, quick detailer. Turned out pretty good. Getting ready to uh, yank these carbs off of here. Well, we got the battery out. At least it's AGM. And uh, Bear's got a gangster no-co charger here. So we're gonna fire that thing up. I don't know, like, I never had good luck with those things. Oh yeah, give it the Mountain Dew. Code red. This looks like something I'd find in my dad's garage. What is it? I don't oh, know yeah. if this, which, I mean, it's probably not, but I love when I find stuff on the shelf. It's like, is this from 1962? Like, why do you still own this? Probably 15 years old. I'm just gonna throw that out there. This is pro it's probably purchased and transported to and from Frank's garage back in the day, circa 2006. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna clean this up, get that battery on the charger, and then uh, get back to schwanking these carbs off of here. So Bear tells me how he charges battery and everything's cool, and then I go to check the voltage and it's basically dead. That just makes you a liar. It's genius time. Let's see what this thing can do. Eight. Put that in. And oh yeah, it's already on. More of these batteries too. Going anywhere for a while? Grab a no-co. Yeah. Little Caesar's pizza, some bush light, take a really weird shit. Mr. Brightside today. To be honest, this looks like it's more. I mean, I still like the bike, but it looks like it's more goofy than my fucking Speedmaster was in terms yeah. of engineering. Like possible. Fuck thought up this louder nonsense. It's Triumph, mate! What type of madness is this? I think you're doing Australian. It's not British. It's got an aluminium frame with aluminium heads, which caused quite a controversy.
until this shit's old when the fucking foam gasket starts to fall apart when you're vacuuming. <laughs> and the filter doesn't even look old. Ugh. There's a pretty Yeah, what was there, like 1,200 miles on there? Yeah. This thing's not even broken in yet. Alright guys, don't really know what I'm doing with this bike, so it's kind of a learning experience for me, but try to take you through getting the carbs off. So, uh, you know, I'd loosen up the clamps, go into the head, and then these, I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, the uh, air box has got these rubber pieces. So, we just pushed them in with a flathead screwdriver to push them back and get some more room. So then you can pull these off and uh, you can sneak the carburetors out of there. Uh, you have to disconnect the fuel line. You have to disconnect the two, the throttle cables. So that's one of them. And then... There's was there throttle. only one? No, there, there were two. There were two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's the other one at? Oh, they're both on this side. So we got the two throttle cables. Um, I took the one towards the front off first. I mean, I just kind of... I mean, Bear's got these tartar scrapers, which came in pretty handy. So I pulled the front one off first, and then that gave me enough slack pulling on the throttle. So, you know, you're going to have to move the throttle. Like, I had him hold the throttle down, and then I could pick the other one out. So these just kind of slide out from the side. It's got that little barrel on there. It's pretty standard for throttles on a motorcycle. So right there on the throttle, that cable fits in there. You gotta just kind of pull it back and work it out of the side. So, uh, once I got that loose, I think this is another fuel line that had some kind of clip on it. So I just pushed that clip forward towards the carbs and I could pull that line off. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know if that's oil. It looks like oil. But I think these carbs were leaking too, so we're going to try getting the bowls off and we'll take a look at what's going on with these things. This one's the diaphragm's funky. Yeah. So just pushing on the slides. This slide is pretty decent. This slide is kind of hanging up. So, I mean, we're going to be pulling these apart and cleaning out the jets and everything. I'm guessing the. Uh, Probably what, like what happened on my R6. I'm guessing the fuel needles are probably for the float bowl. They're probably screwed up, and it's probably just uh, dumping too much fuel into the float bowl. And uh, when that happens, it starts overflowing, and it's bad news. So I mean, I'll be able to explain that better when we get these things ripped apart. But start tearing them apart for you. All right, guys, just playing with the slides again. Was this bike have 1,200 miles? Yeah. 1,200 miles on an O2 is just, <laughs> it's not, you know what I mean? It's probably been more damaged sitting. Sitting. So just playing with these slides, I've got the one for the, uh, let's just call it the passenger side. I mean, just for anyone who doesn't know, anytime you refer to left and right on a vehicle, it's based on where the driver's sitting. So right side would be like passenger side of the vehicle. So this right side carb, just working the slide, it's, it's kind of coming back. This one still feels a lot better though. So the other thing too is on the bottom, I don't know, if, is the camera catching it? Yeah. On the bottom you've got these drain holes for the, this is how you drain the bowls. So it looks like this one's already open. Maybe it's 
sticks out that far. I don't know. So this is how you would drain the fuel out of the bowl. Like some people like to drain their carbs for the winter time. I'm not really a big fan of that. I feel like uh, storing it dry just is what makes everything start rotting. But I mean, there's some people that really believe in draining everything out. So it's kind of a personal preference thing. or something from one side being tightened up? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's how this side's seated. Okay. Which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, that feels fully seated. So that probably was actually shut. And on this one, on the left side of the bike, seems like it goes all the way in. Do you have like a little mallet or uh, probably a metal head hammer? Mallet or hammer? Uh, hammer. Perfect. Can you, I don't know if I'm getting all this. Can you keep an eye on that? Alright guys, so down here on the bottom, these are the pilot holes. And then uh, these four screws are going to hold the bowl on. And this is the idle adjustment screw. So that should come off when I go to take that bowl off. We'll take this uh, right side bowl off first. So I'm just tapping on the threads to kind of bust them loose. You don't have to get crazy, you just want to transfer some shock into there. English. This is one of the last ones they made in England before they moved to India. Try that one, bud. Let me see the other ones you got. Okay. Go ahead. 
pick your poison. This will be the bit that you use to put the end and I'll go grab a ratchet. I've got it. Is it a quarter or? Yeah, a quarter inch. Requesting the PB. My stinky stuff. Should have used. <laughs> Should have used the right size. Instead of the not right size. No, this is not. That's not good. Um, well, let me see if I can bust these up. small flathead will count where these pilots are at. <laughs> that's why I come here. Yeah. That's what I'm expecting. Wednesday, September 25th. This is probably from like 2006, but <laughs> whatever. It still works. This one's been Backside, we'll use the milk drinking. when I was oh, it's up to 75. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to take all night. Yeah, probably. Well, maybe not all night, but it's a pretty small battery. <clears throat> Need anything else? A pair of channel locks? Yeah, we're probably going to have to. Dun, dun, yeah, dun. it's going to get fun. All right, guys, I've got to muck around with this thing.
doing is modifying our Phillips only screw into a flathead screw now. So we can actually get this fucking thing off. Yeah, buddy. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. <laughs> Where did I put my beer? Getting this on tape, man? Yeah. You're... Camera up, son. I'm drinking beer, sweating, operating the camera. That's the main jet.
me on the top there. Gotcha. So this is basically what controls how much fuel gets into that bowl. So if this tip gets worn out, or like on my R6, one of them actually fell off. So it's just going to keep dumping fuel into the float bowl, and it's just going to overflow and drip out of the uh, out of the vents. So I don't know if that kit you're getting has these, but I mean, I would just replace them anyways, no matter what. It does. Okay, let's get this out of here. Oh, my gaskets too, do you know? Yeah. Oh, like even the even the bores are pretty clean. I mean, mm -hmm. which depending with the amount of miles, it never ran. Yeah, it just never ran. I'm guessing somewhere we're gonna find some rubber that's just rotten. Gasket. But I mean, they could also be, they feel pretty hard. So like, that's not good either. Like if yeah. they're too hard, it's not going to create a positive seal. Thing like that looks discolored. Actually, let's see what size these are. are you thinking eight millimeter? Yeah. Or eight, ten. Eight or seven. This is a ten, so eight should be out on the floor. zoom in on that like that's the kind of hole that can get clogged got clogged up in a carburetor and you see how small those holes are yeah I mean it doesn't take much Did you get a shot of that yeah I, I got as close as I could without the focus yeah
right side one has got some crustiness on it. I see it. Ride that thing at all or no? I rode it back here. Yeah. I mean, it rode like shit. <laughs> so, luckily I didn't have too far yeah, to go. Yeah, this, this slide is, I mean, it was starting to feel better, but it's, this thing's goofed up. Yeah. And this other one is perfect. It's no issue. So there's a spring underneath here. So you definitely want to be careful taking these off. You know, you can get a couple screws out and leave two of them kind of still snuggish. So definitely want to like apply pressure on top there. Should be right there next to you in the Yokiro Daco Bell car. I don't think that that spring was not seated correctly. Yeah, I was just saying. Like all goofed up sideways. The diaphragm looks good. Maybe just that spring was not set right, seated correctly. Which I don't know how that would have happened. Some idiot. The well, I mean, doing before I guess us. it could have been a factory defect too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I find it hard to believe someone tore into these carbs with 1,200 miles on there, but I guess stranger things have happened. Well, you know, after it sat the first 10 years, yeah. and we get it the next eight years later. Yeah, 
See that? That was seated right. Yeah. This one, it was like, it was like that. It was literally like sitting sideways. Mm -hmm. Diaphragm's good. It looks like it. Yeah, that looks good. So then it looks like the... The dimple side goes towards the... Uh, I think that's the intake side, right? I think. No, wait, that's... side of the slide mm -hmm. goes towards the air box. Towards the air filter. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if that really matters, but so this side's flat and then this side's got little dimples on it. Mm -hmm. So those, that dimple side faces the air box. The air filter, yeah. No, I mean the diaphragm it looks, it looks good. So let me just take this out. <clears throat> uh, you got your playmate paper? Yeah. It's over there by you. Side, right? Or yeah. Left leg. So, we'll do the left side carb first. So they're almost in line with the throttle blades, not quite. So what I'm going to do is screw each of them in, we're going to count the turns and we're going to mark that down. Not equal. So 
one cylinder is going. Boom! The other one's going. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave the pilot screwed in. We'll eventually take them out and clean them, but we got plenty of stuff we can clean and kind of don't want to get too crazy and we don't have the gasket kit right yet no we don't even have the kit yet so i don't want to go tearing everything apart before that stuff shows up but uh yeah i mean they're really not in bad shape i mean these the bowls aren't all super crusty and destroyed so that's a good sign but it does look like this gasket was probably leaking and that's probably what uh, some of this doo-doo sauce down here is Let's see kind of I don't know is that oil I think that's oil dude Honestly, yes. well it's probably a mixture of everything at yeah. this point in time but it does look like that one bowl was leaking those off later. These are kind of wet. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that would be soaked like that. But <clears throat> even the air box was like got some stuff, some poop in there. Alright guys, looks like we're down to uh, just kind of waiting on that gasket kit to show up and we'll have to clean these up. But so far, pretty damn good. And then like this, uh, looks like the, the issue with this slide was the spring was not, that spring was almost like cockeyed, just like that, instead of seated straight on there. So. We'll see, not bad. Alright guys, we pulled the plug out of the right side cylinder. Hold that up. This thing looks pretty drenched with gasoline. Very wet. But, I mean, besides that, it's in pretty good shape. Actually, it's in really good shape. So we're gonna pull the other one out. Take a look at that. Let's plug out the left side. Not as bad. But... Yeah, still. Definitely on the rich side, but I mean, the other thing is, it really depends on <laughs> how he rode his 1,200 miles yeah. too. Like his. I mean, it's funny, the plug's like, they're practically brand new. There's a little oil puddle under that breather. I wonder if I should just take that off. Clamps like they are positioned that are really retarded. Yeah, spot. I was gonna say that clamp doesn't look like it's seated right. I got a perfect pair of check lines for that. I've well, been charging for maybe three hours now. Still not breaking 14. It's getting there though. It's a new gym, it should come back. 